How is it going, guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to Hardcore RL Craft. So, in the last episode, we did uh, a lot of the Defiled Lands stuff, and we actually kidnapped uh, some of the uh, bookworm creatures. And uh, the idea was to start breeding those up so that we could uh, try and get ourselves a max level uh, golden bookworm. So I've been doing that in between episodes here, as well as a bit of fishing over here. I'm going to show you guys, we actually got a gold, <laughs> a gold bookworm over here. And this guy is uh, the perfect specimen. I actually got an achievement when he breeded. And uh, he does 30 enchantment levels, which is the max. And he also has a digesting time of one, uh, which is basically one tick, I believe. So, uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy uh, with that. It took us about nine uh, generations of breeding to get uh, a level 30 bookworm. So that actually was pretty quick. After that, it was like um, about twice that to get down to a um, one digestion time bookworm with level 30 enchantments. Um, but after that, it, I feel like it took about 60, 60 or 70 um, generations until we got our perfect bookworm. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, <laughs> this is my bre original perfect breeding pair here, Steve and Liz. Um, I'll probably keep breeding and try to get uh, more than one of these so we can try and breed up some gold um, perfect bookworms. Um, but for now we've got one which is awesome so we can start using him um, eventually. I'm going to have to separate him out from the other bookworms here so um, let's work out how we're going to do that. Um, I've got a name tag here for him and I've got a lead. Um, I'm, actually I will need that foul candy because that is the stuff that attracts these guys. So what I'm thinking of doing is leading them all out over here and uh, maybe creating a temporary or maybe even semi-permanent breeding area um, up there in that spot. So I might actually um block this off we'll fence this off in here a little bit um so we can do lead them through here and then i'll block it off and then i'll grab steve uh not steve that's steve over there <laughs> i'm gonna call this guy Irwin actually um anyway let's let's just um let's just release the bookworms um we do this and then uh, we need to hold this out. And they should all just come charging up here. Hopefully they can climb that block there. Can they not climb that? Yeah, here they okay. That's one. That's two. Steve is in the mix there already, actually. I'm going to... Where, where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? He went back inside for some reason. Come on. Come on. Come through here. I know you like to hang out with your buddies, but... Yeah, up here, up here, up here. All right, we've got our gold perfect bookworm here. Awesome stuff. So I'm going to name you Irwin. Little Irwin. He's gone over in the corner. He's a little bit, uh, he's a little bit on the shy side. But if we do this, um, I should be able to lead him and... Can I attach him to this? Uh, doesn't that help? Yeah. All right. Good stuff. I think he is now roped up to the fence post there. And I'm going to go and get the rest of these guys. I'm just going to open this up a little bit. Just so, because they're having trouble fitting through. <laughs> Let's maybe... Maybe do this as well. All right. Go on. <laughs> Everybody out. Everybody out. They love their candy, these guys. All right. Over here. These guys are having a bit of difficulty. One at a time. And, um, block that off. Alright, good stuff. Let's have a look in here. I think that's all of them. 
So what I'm going to be doing here is, uh, I might, I might grab these guys out as well, actually. All right, come on, fellas. Liz, Steve, random baby that grew up, still lives at home with his parents. Uh, in here, come on. All the purples. This is terrible. It's like segregation. Why are these guys not interested in the candy? Come on. You too? What are you looking at? He's distressed. Steve, over here, buddy. He, he's fascinated by the uh, stone brick. He's like, I'm from the defiled lands. Everything's purple. What are these strange stone bricks? This is like, this is like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, all right. Okay, so this is going to be our other pen where I'm eventually going to try and breed up another gold. Um, theoretically, if I breed him with some of those guys, he's going to have like a mm, twice as much chance, I believe it is, of breeding a gold. Otherwise, it's 1%. But I don't want to risk um, harming him because every now and then there just get gets to be too many, too many um, specimens. <laughs> and uh, you have to kind of uh, thin the herd a bit, shall we say. And uh, when that happens, sometimes the ones you want to keep get a little bit damaged. So uh, we don't want to mess with the health of Erwin because I have no idea how to heal these guys if you can even heal them. So anyway, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making this into a proper little area where we can uh, utilize his skills to the max. So um, yeah, essentially what I'm going to do is I am going to have a little enclosure here. Um, all right, so now he's got a proper bookworm-sized enclosure right there. <clears throat> That's pretty awesome. And we can still access the chest. So that's uh, that's pretty perfect right there. Let's just put down another chest over here. And um, I might even put a couple of torches in here. Like uh, this for a bit of brightness. All right. So that's um, pretty much going to be our, um, our setup for our um, bookworm enclosure. Got some spare fowl candy. Look how many bookworm scales I got here from like uh, thinning out the herd. We got a lot of bookworm meat as well. Uh, we got one bookworm scale from the, uh, the gold bookworm I got um, early on. Um, he was just too low a level to keep. Um, even for breeding purposes, it would have slowed down the, the breeding process. So I did want to get rid of him. But um, Erwin here is going to be our keeper. And hopefully we can get a couple of extra gold bookworms to keep him company and to use him for breeding. If anything disastrous happens as well. But he's going to be the guy that's doing all the work for us. And I'm also going to be breeding these guys up over here and, and hopefully getting some extra gold bookworms later on. So this is just a temporary area. I'm probably going to do something else with this room. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with this long term, but um, for now we'll just use it for the spare level 30 bookworms back here. Um, so that should work out pretty nicely. And uh, we're ready to uh, test out his abilities now as well. So yeah, now what we do, if we come over to uh, to Owen's pen here, now if we, uh, if we give him a scan, we can see it says... Uh, Digested level zero. That means that he's not currently eating any enchantments. But if we give him, like, as you can see right now, there's no, there's nothing in there right now. I actually need to change this, I've realized, because the chest, this chest actually needs to be out here. Because um, if he drops a book on the chest, it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> but I can change that later. Let's just feed him some of these enchants. So we'll give him the curse of holding, rusted, and curse of uh, vanishing. So you can see he dropped some books already for us. It's super fast. So we got Safeguard, Curse of Inaccuracy. So we can just keep recycling the same book through multiple times. And we got Damage 4 out of that one. Um, and there doesn't seem to be any cooldown for it. Um, doesn't cost anything to do this. So it's actually pretty awesome. We got Eluding 2 out of that. Just feed him these ones as well. 
And curse of holding. Inefficient. Okay, let's see what we got down here. We got... Oh, that's a rusted. Okay, we got safeguard. We got damage four. We got knockback two. We got viper two. Uh, damage three. Fling. Appealing. Catch more fish as opposed to loot. Well, I definitely don't want to put that on my rod because I don't... I've got enough... I think I've got enough fish somehow for a long, long time. Long cast. That's another fishing one. So, you know, if there's any of these that you don't want, like we don't want, um, we don't want the, uh, long cast. We don't want appealing. We can just chuck those back in. See what we get instead. Again, that's a lesser sharpness. So, and Bane of arthro Arthropods. Uh, what else do we get back? We got blocking power too. And you could just keep keep going, basically. Did he pop another one out the back somewhere? Like, uh, safeguard, curse of holding. He must have. I must have picked it up. Uh, efficiency four. I'm still trying to get myself a um, a fortune in chat. Just for some bizarre reason, they're not dropping for me. But uh, we'll put all these in here for now. So. That sort of demonstrates how useful this guy is. It's just crazy good, and hopefully we can get some good enchants off him. Um, let's just close that up there. Now, uh, what we want to do next is we want to get ourselves some nether stars, and I want to make myself a resistance ring. So for a uh, resistance ring, uh, what I actually need, as I've said before, is four gas tears and a nether star, as well as one of these potion rings, right? Which are easy to make, but um, I only have three with a um, three um, gas tiers, so we're gonna have to go to the Nether to get a gas tier because I'm not sure where I got the other three gas tiers from. I might have got them from chests or some sort of Lycanites mob that dropped them, but uh, it's just gonna be too hit and miss to try and get them in the Overworld here. I thought that maybe Ice Villagers traded them, but when I went and investigated, they only um, trade for them. They don't trade them back they don't sell them so um we we will have to go to the nether unfortunately uh which is super dangerous but uh yeah um hopefully hopefully we can survive and try and stay out of trouble um i've brought a few treats along as well for stuff like dragons and aberrations in case there's anything there we want to tame and one soul stone and i've got everything else that i'm going to need here probably um, we'll see how we go. So I brought some, um, chupacabra meat for healing, some bandages, um, cooked pinky meat, which is for strength. And I probably don't need that bread for anything actually. So we'll get rid of that. Um, one other thing that I do want to get actually is, um, some milk because, uh, ultimately we're going to be fighting like three withers. I think I've got enough skulls for three. Oh, and the other thing that I want to make really quickly is um, some pet armor uh, for the Quetzaldrakul, because he's going to be the main mount that, I, that I'm going to be using in the nether, I reckon, because he's probably a little bit smaller and more maneuverable than, um, than the Morok, and uh, we're not going to need the super speed boost in the nether. Uh, pet. Grab that. And I probably want to get... Let's see. Chest. Uh, let's put that on you. Put that on you. I'm going to make him passive as well. Um, sit. Passive. Okay. Ruby. Okay, so, um, one thing that I do want to pick up is some milk really quickly so that we can have something if we do get withered. Um, I think the cow farm's over here. Let's just got a bunch of this. 
Okay, we're ready to go. Now, to explain the story of the, the nether portal, you may remember the first time I went to the nether, um, I, if I remember correctly, the, the portal got extinguished on the nether side, and then when I relit it, and we teleported back to the overworld here, we actually popped out in a, a nether portal underneath the sea over there, and um, it was really weird that I didn't just come back to my own portal. What are you doing? Can you go away? <laughs> okay. Great. Here we go. Um, not you as well, really. Ah, I'm just trying to talk here. Let's maybe sleep through the night. But um, anyway, so to try and fix that, what I did was I went down um, to the underwater portal that we ended up teleporting to back from the nether, right? And I broke it, which took quite a long time with an iron pickaxe, I can tell you. And then I went back to the nether and teleported back to see if it would teleport me to my own portal. But what it did instead is it created a second portal uh, directly above the other portal over there. And uh, yeah, so for some reason it doesn't want to use my portal to come back. But we can still go through this way. It's just we're going to come back out over there somewhere. And I did make a little... Um, water elevator next to the portal so we can get out relatively easy but we're still gonna have to swim up through the ocean which can be a problem at night yeah anyway <laughs> just one of those things I guess um, so let's just clear this out and I've got like three stacks of pinky meat right now so um, what I'm actually thinking of doing is um, is blocking this off with uh, with stone um, stone fences, or stone walls as they're called, I guess, when I'm not using it so that stuff doesn't come out and rampage through and stuff like that. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's get our shield equipped, and uh, here we go. Back to the nether. Now, I am wearing my cool pants as well, so hopefully we won't overheat as quickly, or if, or at all for that matter. Oh no, what the hell is this? Oh, uh, we got Cinderfall. This is one of the worst events. But fortunately, I'm away from my base, so I'm hoping we can just get out of here and uh, not have to deal with this, these sort of things. Uh, these aren't even the bad ones. The bad ones are the um, are the lobbers, I think they're called. They generate lava and they melt. Um, they actually melt cobblestone, stuff like that. Um, let's call the Quetzalcoatl. Uh, I don't even know where he is right now, but uh, we'll try and move away from our little hidey hole. Let's put night vision on, shall we? Uh, how's my health right now? Yeah, not, not, not real. Oh, we're getting, we're getting shot at. We're getting shot at by something. <gasps> oh, crap. Oh, no. That was a bad jump. I should look before I leap. Uh, let's just heal up a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to dig myself out of this. This, this is uh, what one might call a bad situation. Oh crap! That that Astaroth. Oh man. Let's just take some of this as well. Um. Okay, we need to pick our way out. There, there. Oh my god. It's one with special skills as well. Okay, if I get out of this little section here, this is like, this is pretty intense right now. Just trying to focus on getting out of here. Oh crap, don't hit the pigment, don't hit the pigment. Don't hit the pigment. Oh boy, oh boy. There's spawners everywhere in here. Um, alright. Uh, that's not a good... Oh crap, get out of it, Pinky. Oh man, there is so much, so much stuff trying to kill me right now. Uh, 
I'm super thirsty as well from being in that lava. Oh, there's a ghast over there. Beep. Come on, heal me. Heal me. Heal me. I gotta kill it over land so I can get the ghast here. And then we can pretty much get out of here. If I survive this. Oh, this is so crazy right now. I'm withered. Oh, come on. I can't move very fast in this stuff. Oh, boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, boy. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Please drop a tear for me. Oh, why did you not... Wait. Did it drop a tear? I don't think it did. I guess it's like a random chance, right? Bloody hell, I'm gonna have to find another one. This is crazy. Oh boy. We, we gotta make a little hidey hole. Oh boy. Oh boy. Recovery. Oh man. Hey, can you get out of my hide hidey hole, sir, please? Whew. Uh, all right. Let's focus on drinking. Uh, and I'm completely out of water, which is a problem. But health-wise, uh, not too bad, actually. I can't believe we survived that. Uh, all right. All right. I, I, I should have had the milk in my hot bar. But, uh... See what's what? Oh, there's another. There's another one out. There's another um, ghast out there. I'm gonna get thirsty so fast because of all the fire. Let's maybe not stand in it. Um, where's that ghast? Blown off somewhere. Uh, summon. Alright, I know you don't like fire. Maybe I should have used the uh, Morak after all. But uh, we gotta look around. Oh, so much, so much lag right now. It's stacking me. It's stacking. Oh, crap. Try and stay out of the lava. <laughs> Alright, we gotta look out for ghasts. But I also need more water, so maybe we should try and find um, our nether portal again and just go back and get some water. Because if I run out of water, everything's going to go blurry. I'm not going to be able to see and then I'm going to die, which would be a super embarrassing. Oh, right, here we go. There's actually a couple of ghasts over here. Okay, did you drop something? Did it drop a tear? Let's have a look here. Oh, there's a wither! What the hell? Oh, there's a tear right there! Oh boy! I need to drink this milk. What is cheating me right now? Oh, it's the wither. Okay, where is it? Oh no, it's that thing. Okay, that thing is... That thing's no joke, dude. That thing is no joke. Oh, I cannot see a thing. It's the, it's the wither attacking me right here. I got that life still going though. Okay, we got another star out of that. Okay. I told you guys, this was going to get crazy. Uh, where's my mount? Did it die? Uh, I think it might have died. What's a guru doing in here? I know it's, 
It's dark, I guess. Oh, we got a couple of uh, cinder blades. Uh, level two, level one. I'll keep the level twos, I guess. Um, that was insane. Oh man, we actually found a, a wither in here. I don't know how that works, but... Uh, I'm not sure where my pet is either. It, it must be invisible or something. Uh, let's just dismiss him. Uh, I need to heal up. I'm running out of uh, heals right now. We're actually okay though. Um, kind of wouldn't mind taming that thing. We've got some aberration treats right here. Um, and then we would just need that. If we can get up to it. These things cost so much to call in. Maybe I should call in the Morok next. But we've just, essentially we've just got to get out of here now. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's the mission. Is to get out of here. Um, yeah, he's still respawning, so... Okay, come back here, buddy. So I'm gonna try to tame this guy up here. Uh, where is it? Does he, does he eat these? You know you want to. Are you a demon? Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know if that thing's, uh, let's just do a bit of research real quick. Um, yeah, it must be a demon. Okay, demon. Yeah. And I've only got dragon and aberration stuff on me. Uh, all right, let's just get out of here, guys. Uh, we gotta go this way. Oh, here it is, right here. Oh, man. We might actually do this. Okay, let's, let's just get out of here. I think it's just a spider. Oh, or whatever. Don't blow up my base, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's close that. Uh, get ready though, it's, the fight's not over guys. I imagine that there's gonna be a bunch of, uh, nether creatures on the other side here. Cause last time I came through here, have a look down here guys. There was like, 20 or 30 of these, uh, these pinkies in this cave right here. But you can see like down here, um, that's where the old portal is right there. And I, and this one just spawned above it, it's really weird. I don't know how that works, but I made this little, uh... Let's just heal up, because I don't know. It looks like it might be night time up here. There could be some nasty stuff out here. Uh, I ate almost all the chupacabra meat as well. But, um... Any nasty stuff? Yeah, uh, you know what? Let's play it safe. We've come... We've come too far to die to fish at this point. Hey! Yeah, there's a lot of pinkies down here in this cave. It's kind of scary, actually. Um, let's do this. Wow, that was that was so intense in the Nether today. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, my bed! No. Can't leave behind my special bed. Oh, I almost want to tame. So, what are pinkies exactly? Let's... Oh, they're demons. All right. Well, I know that there's that ashen one. I, I wouldn't mind taming him actually, because the ashen ones are the rare ones. <clears throat> um, we could try and make some uh, demon treats and come back. And tame that guy. Uh, I don't know if you can mount them or not. You probably can, right? And just run around the land with them. Should be interesting. 
lovely day underwater here with my Tide Guardian armor. Just breathing normally as you do. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be our normal way of getting out of the out of the nether is basically coming back through that cave. Maybe I should pretty it up a little bit and make it a little bit more civilized down there. I've got life steal four on this now. So let's go back. And uh, we're going to try and tame that ashen pinky. He's not really going to be a pinky, is he? He's going to be like... I don't know what he's going to be, but... <laughs> he's their own color, is what I'm trying to say. Where's that little boat? That's my marker over there. That's how you can tell where the cave is. Because it's directly below... Here. So yeah, I should have taken these, um, I should have taken these to the nether with me, these demon treats. Where is, where are we right now? It's not where I was expecting to be. Okay, so we only want the ashen one. Try and kill these other ones off. Okay, you're the one I want. Eat it, eat it, eat it! Come here, you! Okay, he loves me. We did it! Yay! Should I kill these other guys? Let's just kill these guys here as well. Yeah, I did get quite a bit of health back to my head. That must have been the life still kicking in. You stupid rat! Oh, there's a lot of... There's a lot more of them back there. Chupacabras? I actually need more chupacabra meat. So this is a good thing. What do we got back here? It's like a... It's like a pinky convention back there. There's a scarlet one as well. See, this is how I get all my meat. It's just ridiculous how much. Who needs a farm when you got when you got another portal or two? Got a fair bit of XP out of that as well. Oh, look at this! How lucky is that? Nice. I haven't actually come all the way back in this cave before. But um, we got... Yeah, we got more than a stack of pinky meat just from that little excursion. <laughs> oh, crap. You want some of this? Let's go, uh, let's go back up here. So I went down the wrong hole. I have to remember where this one is. Um, maybe I could, like, do something like this. Is that air in there? Um, let's grab this. I think that is an air pocket right there, so we could put a torch in there. Like that, and that'll light it, light it up for us. It's an IRA. I've got extra strength as well. I've got strength four underwater, so... Um, I should block this off right here. So I don't get confused. And hopefully I'll see the light on this little hole here. That's the theory. I actually want to tame an IO ray at some point, but I'm waiting until I find a rare one, rather than just a normal blue one, just to get that extra bit of health. So yeah, today has actually been pretty productive. 
We have everything we need to make our regen ring, but I don't have what I need to make the, um, let's just, uh, get, we need some water. I, I don't have, uh, enough nether stars to make the way shrine, so we're still going to fight a couple of extra, uh, withers today as well. So, yeah, where we're going to do this is we're going to go down to bedrock where they can't, um, blow up the ground at least, or most of it, and, uh, we're gonna fight them down here, Let's see, what season is it, midwinter, still midwinter, so, so far down here in my mine, um, I've dug out this tunnel, uh, no, not that tunnel, oh, there's some diamonds right here, by the way, uh, as you can see, by my diamond, detection skills, but uh, yeah, I dug that way and ran into lava and then I dug a long way out that way and uh, pretty much just ran out of picks. So I can keep going in that direction. Um, and then I dug out this way. You can see that there's diamonds out the sides here as well in a lot of places. So if I wanted diamonds desperately, I could come down here and find them. But um, I'm thinking that we'll probably fight the wither out here somewhere away from the main area where I'm going to be mining because it's going to create a massive cave probably and uh, we'll just hollow out this area here a little bit oops uh, like this and then if we do this and then we do this and then what we're gonna do is eat this and get ready wait till he explodes He did. Then we're gonna drink the milk. Oh, I can't. What's going on here? <laughs> did I have aphasia or something? I don't know what was going on there. I guess I was. Uh, I had the wrong item selected in my helper. But there's one of our milks gone. I probably should have brought four of them. But yeah, we didn't really take that much damage. And we got our Nether Star. Plus, he dropped some. Uh, some other bonus stuff like 12 heart crystal shards. Nice. Alright, let's do another one then. Um, yeah, okay. I see the problem. Try this again. Um, like that. Oh shoot. What the heck? Shade. Are they demons? Oh, it's an aberration. Just when I get rid of my aberration treats. <laughs> Could have tamed that guy. All right, let's do this again. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, 
But it's still sort of okay though. It's getting uh, harder and harder each time because he's destroying the ceiling on me. 28 heart crystal shards. This is actually an insanely good way of uh, getting heart crystal shards. Alright, one more. Um, let's do him right here. So that doesn't screw up the thing. There is a chance we're going to get a blighted or a, or a rare one as well, by the way. So, is he not going to explode for me, bud? Oh, there's a tremor. There's a tremor. Die! Die, 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 Can you die as well? Can you die? Oh crap. I need to, um, I need to take that milk. Oh boy. Oh man. That was crazy. It's really wrecking the area down here. Gotta make sure I don't miss the uh, nether star. How many have we got? Three. Sounds... Does that sound right? I think I already put away the one that we got in the nether, right? So, yeah, that should be right. I can use all these blocks for um, building and whatnot. Uh, okay, I think we've got one more that we can build. Um, 43 heart crystal shards. This is crazy good. How's my... Uh, oh, my helmet's not looking so good. Gonna check if they dropped a uh, Groo Claw for me. Don't think so. I kind of want a level 3 Groo Claw at some point. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know you could put bandages in the uh, tool belt. Pretty cool. Uh, we're all out of milk now, so I have to be a little bit careful. Um, make sure I'm at maximum health. And maybe I'll build this one back a little bit, like back here. Let's just blow this out. Just because otherwise it's going to be up in the ceiling. Like that. I think that'll work. Okay, we didn't get any special rare ones, fortunately, because uh, I don't fancy one with special skills. Attacking us. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm so... Oh, actually, it's, it's not that bad. I thought I was way worse off. 
it like, because it shows everything yellow, right? So, uh, I thought that meant that we were on our last legs, but actually, I'm only down one heart, so. <laughs> that, that'd be safe and sorry, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's, um, that's all the withers we need to kill, and then some. Okay, so we have our four gastiers, we have our nether stars, um, we're also going to need some of these, and some gold, I think, unless, I think I have a potion ring here already we can use instead, um, buckets go in here, Okay, let's do this. <laughs> so, Ring of Regeneration. Now, we need all of that, put it together. Ring of Regeneration. And what we want to do is we actually want to make this into probably Undying, I guess. I don't know if you can get Punishing on these ones or not, but it would be pretty awesome if you could, because I actually prefer that to Undying, I think. I'd rather be able to do damage. Um, because I think we've got enough hearts right now, you know what I mean? So let's take this. We're going to put it in here. And we're going to reforge until we get something decent. Focusing, strengthening, athletic. I wouldn't say I've got endless quantities of gold, but hopefully we've got enough to get what we want on this. Yeah, punishing. So you can get punishing. It looks like you can get... It looks like you can get Punishing and you can get Undying. Um, like I said, I probably, at this point, I probably prefer Punishing because Attack Damage, Magic Damage, Projectile Damage is pretty nice. Um, fleeting is sort of not that great. Um, I've got 22 XP, so I guess we could try and reroll that over here in this um, Baubles Reforger. Plus one armor. Hmm, that's actually pretty good, but now I'm going to take that because I'm going to need all the XP I can get, really. Um, we'll put that in there. So yeah, we, we now have a Ring of Regeneration and uh, to go with our Ring of Resistance. So now we only have Resistance 1, but that's okay because we've got so much armor right now and I can put my spare one over here. Um, this has got, had the half-hearted thing. And we can also take our 59. Actually, we've got more than that. We've got uh, we've got 64 hard crystal shards here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna max out our our hearts. Yeah, we all we only need one more. <laughs> so these are just spares at this point. Um, I don't even know where to put these because we can't really use them. I don't think for any crafting. Let's have a look. Um, heart. Canisters, heart containers. You can make heart dust. Oh, okay. This is interesting. So we can make, we can actually make med kits and these bandages, which aren't that great. But these are pretty good, these ones here. We need glistering melons, white terracotta. That's super specific. But, oh, it's just clay. It's a little bit involved making those med kits. I don't even know if we're going to really need that many med kits if we've got regen. Because we've got, we've basically got infinite regen, infinite resistance, night vision on tap, infinite fire resistance, infinite water breathing at this point. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, it's pretty crazy. Wow, look how much damage my helmet took. Um, basically a bit of fishing, XP from fishing will repair everything to max again fairly quickly. Um, which is something I like to do between episodes. Um, and we, oh, that's right. The other thing that I wanted to make before we end the episode is some way shrines. So, um, these are just stone bricks and obsidian. Uh, 
obsidian. We're going to make two of these. And uh, then we've got a spare couple of nether stars up our sleeve as well. So one of these I'm going to be able to take with me. Because I think you can put them down and pick them up. I'm just not 100% sure if uh, you can use an iron pick pickaxe on these or not. I guess we can test this out. And where I was thinking of putting this is down here somewhere. Um, not sure exactly where. Maybe underneath this. Let's get this stupid looking thing out of the way. I don't know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> but it's going. It's going to give me a bunch of hatches. But I'll probably pretty this area up a little bit more. Maybe at some point. I don't know. It's sort of okay like this anyway. Um, <clears throat> probably needs a bit more lighting and stuff. Um, but the good thing about it is it's got an odd number of blocks between the, the pillars. So I can put it right in the center here. And we'll call this um, Seaport Base. Um, seaport Home Base. Nice! How good is that? It's pretty awesome. So now we can basically teleport here from any location and teleport from here to any location. I think that's pretty cool. Awesome. All right, guys, that is where we are going to leave this episode for today. It's been pretty productive. We got a lot done. Hope you're enjoying this series and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Slippy Jim out.